Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to be exploring one of the possible ideas of what Deku writes down in those notebooks of his. There will be ships involved in this one, so as always please respect others ships so long as they are legal and safe. Everything is happening in real time, like that of a play. Deku wakes up to the sound of his alarm going off, giving it a light tap on the top before sitting up and stretching his arms out. Groaning, the green-haired boy threw his legs over the side of his bed and stood up, making his way to the kitchen. Eyes half-closed still, he entered and opened up the fridge, not even acknowledging Bakugo sitting at the kitchen table. Morning nerd, did you sleep well? Huh? Oh morning Cochin, I slept well last night. Deku went to take a drink from his personal orange juice jug, before his eyes suddenly went wide. He started coughing and sputtering, spitting out the orange juice in his mouth from shock and surprise. K.K. Karchin? What are you doing here? He coughed and covered his mouth, trying to get out all of the orange juice from his lungs as he whirled to face his classmate and friend. Huh? Do you not remember last night? L. Last night? What do you? Nerd, I spent the night here while your mother was out of the house, remember? Do you honestly not remember all we did last night? Bakugo grinned a bit as he stood up from the table, stalking on over to Deku with confidence. Honestly, does using that power give you concussions alongside broken bones? It must have for you to forget all that happened. As he said this, standing before Deku, the blonde-haired Bakugo suddenly, and gently grabbed a blushing Deku's chin. His hand lightly lifted his face up to look at him, smirk ever present on his lips. Deku's face now resembled that of a tomato, quite literally glowing red and casting visible red light on all nearby surfaces as his chin was held. KKKK Karchin? What are I mean you? The boy was so unbelievably flustered, surprised, and yet. Happy at this unexpected turn of events, this. Feeling of tenderness from him just hitting him in ways he never expected. Your face is red, are you alright Deku? You're not getting sick, are you? Bakugo asked this as he leaned in pressing the back of his hand against Deku's forehead, leaning in closer to the broccoli boy, lips inching closer and closer. A sudden sparking sound and distorted alarm noises sounded out, causing Deku to jolt up in bed suddenly. The boy gasped and panted, face as red as a tomato still as he looked around for the noise and finding. A destroyed alarm clock, the third one this week. It. It was just a dream? I. Don't know if I'm happy or. Disappointed. He sat there thinking for a moment, chewing on his lower lip as he sat in bed, just thinking. His mind was suddenly as busy as a bee, thoughts filling it as he sat there. Moments later, he was grabbing a fresh notebook from under his bed, grabbing a pencil and beginning to fervently write. Fingers dancing with green electricity as his mind and fingers raced to write down everything inside of it. He spent a good twenty minutes writing, filling out about a third of the notebook with what had filled his mind, all of it, well. Fan fiction. The boy was taken up by a sudden inspiration, stopping with a goofy, happy grin on his face as he looked to his phone and, oh my all my time going to be late for class. Terrified faces at the idea of breaking his perfect attendance record. Quick as he could, the boy jumped out of bed and got dressed in his uniform, grabbing up the various notebooks he thought he might need for the day as he sprinted out of the house. He barely made it to the school. In time for Isa what to end the first class of the day. Oh my all might I'm so 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 sorry for being late Mr. Izawa, please don't expel me from the school I really want to be a hero. Emotional crying faces because he doesn't want his dream to suddenly end here, not like this. Dot dot dot. Well, you're finally here I see, Midoriya. You're not being expelled, because today is your lucky day. For some reason, Principal Nazu, or All Might convincing him, decided that today would be a free day for students, whereupon no attendance is counted. I don't get the point, but whatever. Less work for me, fewer problem children to worry about. Deku breathes out a sigh of relief, looking quite relieved that his perfect attendance would be kept intact. Now I am going back to my sleeping bag, enjoy your free day. And off he went to go get into his sleeping bag, it was practically his home away from home by now thanks to class 1A and their shenanigans. Deku endured some light teasing from his fellow classmates for being late as they left the room, namely some jokes about him becoming like Kaminori. Hey, I'm not that bad. You came to school an hour after this class is usually done and started to panic text all of us because you couldn't get in the building. On a Saturday. Small, tear-eyed face. 
It's not my fault my alarm didn't wake me and that I lost track of the days. Just smirks at him in response. The class soon enough dispersed, and for Decker the day seemed to just fly by, as before long the last bell rang, dismissing all students. With more pep in his step than usual, the green-haired boy just looked down at the notebooks in his arms, thinking about all the information he wrote down today, all the new ideas he came up with. And how. Boom. He rounded a corner, gasping as he bumped into someone and was quickly knocked back to the floor. Oh my god I'm so sorry KK Cotton. Oi? Watch where you're going, damn nerd. You're gonna hurt yourself or someone else if you don't pay attention you know. Bakugo exclaimed with an annoyed expression, shaking his head as he looked down at the suddenly flustered Deku. Thoughts about the dream from this morning filled Deku's mind, causing the boy to blush and stutter as he tried to apologize to him. Hmm? What's wrong? You seem even weirder than usual. Did you hit your head or something earlier, give yourself another concussion? And why is your face red? Are you getting sick or something? This just sends Deku over the edge, the boy gasping and moving as quickly as he could to grab up all his notebooks that he could before scampering off. He managed to bow and apologize to Bakugo a couple of times before running off though, leaving behind just one notebook. Dot dot dot. I swear Deku gets weirder and weirder by the day. Hey, he left one of his notebooks behind, idiot. Sighing, he knelt down and grabbed it, picking it up and looking around a little. Well, no way I can get it to him now, he's long gone already. I'll give it back to him tomorrow or Sunday, make him sweat a little about losing one of his notebooks, hey. It'll give me a good chance to come over and... Hmm, hold on a second just what does he write in these notebooks any... Way. Bakugo started to say that as he opened up the book, eyes widening a little at the first few sentences before he slammed it shut. His head turned this way and that rather quickly, making sure no one was watching as he promptly put the notebook in his bag and almost ran straight home. What could he have read, hmm? Meanwhile, at Midoriya's house. Phew, home at last. I don't think I could have kept it together if I stayed around Cochin for much longer. Anyways, time to start going over the information in my... Note. Books? He blinked a few times as he looked at the books in his arms, before letting out a loud groan. Arara ah no. I'm missing the notebook I started just yesterday on new quirk use applications outside of battle crying face of regret at losing one of his precious notebooks. I hadn't written much in it, but still. A whole notebook gone, I can't believe it. I probably dropped it when I bumped into Cochin, I'll have to ask him if he's seen it on Monday. No way I could possibly text him and ask him, not after what just happened, and. Not after this morning. Deku blushed deeply before shaking his head, chewing on his lip again at the thought of this morning. New ideas were coming to mind now that he was thinking about it, and he did have all weekend to do his homework too. Grinning, he made his way back to his room and to his bookshelf full of notebooks, humming as he started looking through them. H. 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 Huh? The boy blinked a couple of times, having gone to his H section to look for his new hero stories notebook that he started that morning only to instead find his newly started quirk applications outside of battle notebook. That's... No, that's not I mean, there's no way I HH hold up. Deku quickly searched through his notebooks, eyes scanning each cover multiple times as he grew more and more desperate to find that notebook, face turning a deep shade of red as it began to sink in. Oh no 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 no. No no no, it's can't. There's no way. I I didn't oh my god I can't have dropped that book I in front of Cochin. Absolutely horrified faces at the possibility of having done that, and that Cochin may end up reading it too. Meanwhile, at Bakugo's house, our blonde-haired porcupine was blushing up a storm, looking through the notebook that Deku had dropped earlier. To be continued. Thank you so much for watching to the end of the video, if you enjoyed it then please feel free to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications on these videos. As a bonus, if you made it all the way through, then start your comment with who your favorite MHA character is so far in the anime, no spoilers though for what happens in it. We'll be continuing this story with the next scheduled upload, so see you then.